Are they maang hung? Are they spicy? You want to eat one? Uh, I'll bite one. Eat one for the channel. <laughs> yeah. hey guys, I'm going to try. I'm going to eat it. Directly from the plant. Oh it's not my. even like farm for to table. It's like farm to mouth. <laughs> oh my god. Spicy? Woo! Yeah, that's hot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's spicy. Woo! Oh, that's not kidding. That's not playing around. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's going down the the breathing tube. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, that is spicy. Do you need that's water? not like no, it's okay. That'll make it worse. RJ, that's not like the one you buy on the corner. That's, that's like nutrient parsley, like yeah. fed. That's parsley. This oh. is uh, cilantro. Oh my favorite. Okay, you can get parsley. I want a cilantro tower. Guys, cilantro, the best. Every food should have it. You can grow kung pao in a hydroponic system also because it does like... Wow! Guys, this is kung pao. Very popular vegetable for Filipinos. I love kung pao. Look at how thick the plants are. Jaya's hilarious. Jaya's like, okay, all we're missing is the meat now. And then we have our Korean barbecue. <laughs> Just pull off these towers. This looks like eggplant. I recognize it from my mom's garden. <laughs> In Toronto. Tomatoes, look at these. Wow. Guys, you know okra, right? Look at that. Mmm. For pinak bed. I love putting it in the sinigang. Oh. And then also yeah. frying it. And my chef makes a pickled okra. Pickled okra? Oh, that's so amazing. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Oh, look at the flower of okra. It's beautiful. This is alugbati. Yes. According to them, the farmer. I don't know what it tastes like, I've never had it, but maybe you guys have. Guys, in case you didn't know, the Philippines is home to a broad array of bee species. Look at look at this bee. It's huge. It's pollinating Angie's flowers. See, look, look it up. It's massive. Wow. Wow, it's huge. Huge. Angie, how long have you had this farm? So, my family's had this property for, I guess, 35 years, but the farm was a smaller scale farm, and after my father passed away, I decided to sort of ramp it up. Um, but he was farming already for, I'd say, a good 8 to 10 years. Wow. But on a personal scale, we're just to feed him when he comes here, he wanted fresh veg. Amazing. But I've basically turn the key and wrap everything mm -hmm. up a hundred times over. Would you say farming requires a passion? Oh yes, hell yes. It's not it, just something someone can kind of pick up, like, hey, let's do farming today. It, it has to be something you love. Um, you can't rush it because you have to wait for the trees to grow. We do a lot of soil analysis also to see if oh. the pH level of your soil, what nutrients are you lacking. So wow, it's so involved. It, There's a lot of science to it. If you want very successful crops, then you have to be scientific about it. Right, so farmers are actually scientists. They're biologists. Yes, in, in a nutshell, you know, even though let's say they didn't know the terminologies, they have the system that's been passed down to them from generations. Unbelievable. So yeah, we're gonna go to the next side where we're digging holes for the calamansi trees. So you can Ooh. see what we're doing to prep that side. All right, I'm excited. Guys, by the way, if you're new to these vlogs, be sure to hit the like button if you enjoy this vlog and hit the subscribe button to join the Mabuhay squad. We will be your daily dose of positive vibes online here at the King Farm. We're dropping some calcium carbonate to oh. reduce the pH. I see. And then after that, we'll put the compost base already. Wow. And then we put the calabansi on it. So to drop the pH, meaning you need the soil more acidic uh, or basic? More base. I see. Right now, our soil is more acidic. So I we see. need to bring it down a little. Interesting. Okay. Guys, they're planting calamansi here. Even with your water supply, I'm going to ask you to do a hydroponic test to the water. Oh. Because we want to know the nutrients, what's the magnesium levels, what's the pH level. Because wow. even the plants like sort of like a 6, 6 5 mm. pH level. They don't like it too acidic. Right. So they don't like it too, too basic. basic. Yeah. yeah. So definitely those are the things that we need to monitor. Oh, wow. Never thought of this. We really, RJ, have to do a lot of research on 
like the profile of the water and yeah. the soil in Cavite. I love how Leia is just fully, she knows where we're going. Oh. Prepping everything Amazing. down here. Look at that. So, is this burned? Um, they burnt it so that they can get the ash. The yeah, ash with the, got it. Right when you do the, like, the Keingen system where they burn it, yep. it sort of makes the soil inert. I see. It's also faster way to clear. Right, right. Like the red spinach. Ooh, amaranth. And the, again, the bees love this thing too. It's a beautiful color. So Angie was just mentioning um, for when we have our farm, right RJ? We have to be selective as to which trees we cut down to clear because some of them could be like home to endemic birds or other animals and if you cut it down, you cut down their house. Yeah, don't do that. And you can't force them to move into another tree, like into, I don't know, a palm tree or a coconut tree. Guys, they have sheep. Like, do you use their wool? <laughs> Leia, I can't bring you in. Leia's not allowed. Not allowed. Let's go hey, into Leia. this sheep area. area. Now, we mentioned in our vlogs that we wanted goats, but then one of you guys emailed us saying why sheep are better than goat. And so I think we're gonna get sheep too. Bags of manure. Oh, mmm, smells good. <laughs> Bags of manure. So this here is more of an undeveloped part of the farm. All these trees, most of them, or well, all of them, came when they bought the farm. They're all native, natively growing here. RJ, are you thinking like I'm thinking that farming is a lot of work? Yeah, it is. <laughs> It's a lot of work and it's a lot of knowledge that we need to know and like equipment that we need to like build and areas of the farm like a nursery we need to build. We can do it. We can do it, yes. We're gonna have to assemble a farming team even for our small farm. Oh guys, they're vermiculture. Gross. Worms. So obviously it's a lot wow. of compost. Wow, wow, wow. Guys, in yeah. here are red wigglers or African night crawlers. You know, I remember like when it would rain in Canada and like walking down the sidewalk, I just would not look down because the African night crawlers were just everywhere. Yeah, I think I have to dig deeper. They're deep inside. It's okay. We don't need to see them. <laughs> I believe they're there. Gross. Wow, 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 wow. Guys, vermiculture. Where did the sheep go? Oh, okay, the sheep are not around. They're somewhere. They'll be back. <laughs> wow, guys, look at that. This here is a man made lake. I love that the property is like next to a beautiful body of water. RJ, what do you think? <laughs> away from people. Do you need to get away from people often? Once in a while. Yep. I like my peace and quiet. There's our internet's very weak, so detach from social, social media. detach from nice. everything. It's a good way to get off the grid, I guess. Yeah. Like and you know, I spend my most of my days like in the kitchen thinking of new recipes or thinking of what crops that we could add to the farm. Amazing. And you run several businesses, so you're like super busy yeah. every day. I do we do hotels. We have two restaurants, I have three car shops. Wow. And then have the farm and the vlog. And wow, and the vlog, yeah, <laughs> a bunch of stuff. This is all really like total farm goals right now. It's get, it's inspiring us. Angie, thank you so much for You're welcome. inviting us to your farm. And like we were saying, we're complete strangers and you, you're still so welcoming to invite us to your property. I, I understand the people who really like to learn about farming and I did see your other vlogs where you're like so excited I'm like okay yeah. <laughs> Mikey has to be someone to show the farm to because yeah again, I didn't realize that you love insects also which yeah which also bugs. means you love nature because right. mm -hmm. everything is hand in hand like you can't love insects and not love the tree correct that's where they live that's right so it's all hand in hand and the people who do get it get it so that's right I know a lot of our viewers are Mabu High Squad um, our nature lovers as well. So hope you guys appreciated this amazing tour through the King Farm and be sure to subscribe to Angie's channel Yay. at Angie Meet King. Yes. Yes. All right. OMG, look at these tables, guys. This is like massive slabs of rock. <gasps> wow. OMG, wow. I'm amazed by this place, this King Farm. Look at this observatory. You can just sit here. Oh my gosh. This is their dirty, is this the dirty kitchen? It's the most gorgeous dirty kitchen I've ever seen. Oh, beautiful. Jaya's like, this is a perfect place to sit and... Drink coffee. Right, it's like, and read a book. Like, is it not a nice getaway from the city? See, this is what I want. 
I don't know, I just feel like since RJ and I don't have so much business being in the big city in Manila, like we don't have an office that we need to go to, you know, every day. Our meetings we can have on Skype digitally, right? So I feel like living out in the country is definitely a cool way to live. But not too far away from the city where we can't go back to the city if we need that action again. Guys, look at the lunch. The kangkong. Okra was grown here. That was their plan. Love it. Kuya Ryan cutting himself a coconut. Wow. Fresh. Oh, there. The juice is coming out. Oh, so fresh. Coconuts are not easy to break into. They're kind of hard to break into. Oh, there. Oh. <laughs> Splashed everywhere. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god, I got, I got coconut juice all over my face! Wow! Look at that! Amazing! Wow! Fresh coconut juice, guys! I love living in the Philippines! What? I'll buy 20 right away. 20 10 of these? for herbs and 10 for vegetables. Yes! <laughs> I like that idea! Guys, we found the sheep! Oh! Hey. Sorry! Sorry! <laughs> Scared them. Ooh. Oh, awesome. And look what else I just found. A praying mantis. Right here. Hey, little guy. Beautiful. Looking at me. It's like, what are you doing? Come here. Awesome. You are so beautiful. I would take you home for the Ants Canada Ant Channel. But no. You need to help the ecology of this king farm. This amazing king farm. Guys, we're home now and Legaya's wondering what we're doing because we're making a major renovation to her cage. We're gonna move it, okay? Yep. If you guys saw our previous vlog where we went to the vet, we learned that her falling off her perch there at night has caused some of her tail feathers to break off and therefore like not grow back in during this molting season evenly. Look how tiny her tail is. So during our vet visit, we suspected that her, cause she has kind of, I don't know if it's a deformity or if it's just a bad habit. She doesn't grip onto the branch the way normal parrots do. She has a thumb that's supposed to be opposable but she kind of grips it like this on both feet. And so I suspect that's why at night she falls all the way to the bottom. Now with this cage design, it only came with this bar, not up here. We just decided to add this branch up here, but normally it's here. So our vet recommended that we just keep this here so that if she does fall again, it's not too high of a fall. Let's see, let's remove it. She has to get used to sleeping on that perch for her own good, yes. So you don't hurt yourself because they can break bones. All right, the guys, we're about to remove a major branch from your home here and you're just gonna have to get used to it. Sorry, sorry. Really guys, she's like, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing to my home? Sorry you guys, it must be done. Is she mad? No, she wants scratches. She's just wondering what's going on. RJ thinks she's mad. I don't think so. She's full. I can see that Ate fed her, her pellets this she's afternoon. She's looking, she's yeah. curious. Yeah, she's wondering what happened to the main brand. Okay, Legaya, but you know what? As Bertrick said, you gotta get these birds used to change so that they grow up to be confident birds. She looks so strange with that tiny tail. Poor Legaya. She's molting right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, new tail feathers are growing in, pin feathers are growing in. Oh, I watched them pull out broken tail feathers from you, Legayas. We spoiled you with a massive cage, but it's actually hurting you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. I think you're gonna learn that your pellets are next time. Time for some pellets. Yeah. Come. Come. It's like, I'm ready to roost. Step up. Step up. Here, you want? She's full. She doesn't want food. I love this bird so much, seriously. During the day, we open up the top and then add our bars so she can have all the height she wants. Just at night, she needs to sleep down here. Time for sleep, sleep, sleep. Is it this time for sleep, 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 sleep? Girl, let's see who sleeps again. Yeah, bedtime snack. Guys, Ligaya had her first night sleeping right there. 
How you doing, guys? I bet this branch, this perch, was much easier for her to grip on. And I don't think I heard her fall, but I wouldn't know, I was sleeping. But now she's busy chewing her toys. She crawls up here and starts playing with her foraging toy. I like that there's more room now. She can kind of like flap her wings a little bit better. And it's just more spacious. Um, I feel like that big branch was kind of making things a bit cluttered. She was eating both her pellets and her veggies. So I think this new design is much better. And I think Ligaya agrees. You like this design better, the guys? Hmm? This is actually how it came. I was just extra and wanted to add like a huge natural branch there. I guess this extra space is, it is better for her. So you don't fall at night, the guys. Good morning, guys. OMG. Do I buy bags? Do I, do I? Well, I've been working on something all night long that I can't wait to show you guys. Mm hmm. Uh, it's been so long since I've done this. It really has. My boy squad. What I'm working on now is 